Hello, my name is Jay Connor. I'm a central office technician here at Citizens Telephone, and I am uh, 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 pleased to be able to have the opportunity today to go on uh, discuss our new uh, SFN TV Now application and how that uh, how that that can benefit you and to, to maybe set you at ease a little bit. Um, one of the things that uh, I think about with this is that people are always uh, concerned with change and 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 how to deal with that, and and so I'd like to start out a little bit with that in terms of. Uh, my first TV experiences, I can remember my parents had a TV that was this big square and it sat on the back uh, in the living room and it sat on these funny little wires and it was it was enormous and, and I was small and I just knew that it had all these buttons everywhere, horizontal hold, all these kind of things on it that I was absolutely forbid from touching. And I didn't. And after that, we had a TV that was uh, an RCA that was on a cart. And that was uh, the other TV was moved from that room. We never threw anything away. It was moved from the living room to the to the den, and then we got this in the den in the living room, and it had the rabbit ears, and and we could see poor mountain from where we were at, so I could actually point that thing straight towards the signal, but still seven, ten, sometimes fifteen was all I could hope, ever hope for. But I can recall one of my favorite shows was was Batman, and how at the very beginning of every episode it said, "In color, we're available." And I'll tell you, it wasn't available at my house for a very, very, very long time. So it wasn't until after uh, my brother had come back from Vietnam and he had bought mom and dad a big wooden console TV. It was like ginormous. And it uh, I took up half of the living room and, and we put that in there and that had color. And so then was when I finally found out that Adam West as Batman actually had purple outfit. So we had color. So we had, we'd gone through now to, to a color TV or, or on occasion we would go on a vacation and we might stay at a motel and underneath that vacancy sign, it would always say uh, color TV or maybe HBO. And that was a really big deal back then to, to, to have color. Um, and another thing that sometimes at those locations, you know, but maybe they would be over, have, still have an antenna, but a lot of places they had cable TV. So it was screwed into the side of the wall and, and you could punch one of those buttons on the, uh, on the TV and it would pull up uh, uh, WGN in Chicago or maybe uh, WTBS in Atlanta. Uh, so you had a whole lot more channels to choose from than seven and 10 and 15. So as things progressed along and, and eventually uh, um, I wound up uh, in a home of my own and I wound up with satellite TV. So satellite TV, hundreds of channels, more TV than you could think to want to watch, but it all came in from the satellite dish. And then sometimes when it rained or the snow, you'd have to go out there and, and, and deal with that. So, so, so then, then I came to work to citizens and we uh, have our IPTV uh, system that many of you have, and you have a set top box, a set top box that pulls that in over your DSL or, or your uh, internet connection today. And, um, and it comes off of a big satellite dish we have here and here at the office. So now, as time has, has continued on, you can kind of see that maybe TV has changed all along the whole time. And this is just another step in that direction into this next generation of TV. In this case, TV that comes across the internet. You're probably familiar with some of that already because if you maybe have Netflix or you maybe have Hulu or YouTube TV or maybe at least heard of some of those things, this is really the same type of thing. It's it's an application. It's a computer, small computer program that runs on on a device and and pulls it in. And speaking of devices, you know we've had devices the whole time too. So you know back back when I was talking about some of these changes, you had VCR tapes and you had DVDs. Well, you didn't just have them in the work. You had to have a player. So you had a VCR, a video recorder player, or you had a, a DVD player. And that's kind of what these devices are. They're the, uh, the more popular ones are a Roku device or perhaps a Fire Stick device. And they're just players. They're, they're players for these apps. And in this case, the app's going to be uh, SFN TV Now. So how can I watch SFN TV Now? Well, you have to have a device, some sort of a device that you can go and pull a, uh, a signal in across the Internet into your, to your to decode the uh, and install the SFN device or application on. Two of the options, that, uh, the devices we have available here at Citizens, but you can also go to Walmart or maybe on Amazon or some other uh, retailer, is the Roku 4K Plus is one that we've selected. This is an entry level uh, box. It's uh, currently, we sell it for $39.95. This, uh, one of the reasons we selected this is because it has a power button so that you can program your TV to turn your TV on and off. It also has audio 
devices to where you can go on audio controls, volume controls for your TV. So you can volume up, volume down, or mute it without having to go and select, pick up the separate remote uh, for your TV itself. This, uh, this Roku is Wi-Fi only, and you have to have a good Wi-Fi signal in order for you to go and be able to go and pull the channel in. In some instances, you may be at the location in the house that you don't necessarily have good Wi-Fi. So that's where we have the Roku Ultra, which is a more advanced box. A couple features it has is it has a physical Ethernet connection on the back side, so you can hardwire that into your network. You don't have to worry about your Wi-Fi signal coming or going. It also has the ability to, uh, it has an audio, in addition to the audio controls of, of volume up, volume down, and mute, it also has a headphone jack so that if you want, you can go and watch, listen to that. So perhaps if you're hearing impaired, or maybe uh, if you like to go and watch TV uh, late at night and, and someone else doesn't, you can go and uh, keep the, uh, the volume to, to yourself on a head set of headphones. Those are the two, those are two of the devices. I don't have a box, but for, uh, this is an example of an Amazon Fire Stick, just one of, one of many different models they have, and the remote that's associated with it. Again, you can get these devices, Amazon, Walmart, Target, in a number of retailers. Those are SFM application players or, or de devices that will play internet-based programs. If you have a laptop or a uh, tablet or a uh, Android phone or a iPhone, you can also download apps from the App Store, the I I Apple Store, you can download SFN TV now and play them directly on those devices. So TV pr pretty much can go anywhere now. One of the advantages of Citizens SFN TV now is that there is no, uh, the amount of data that's used for watching the TV on SFN doesn't count against your usage each month. That's not the case with uh, Netflix or any of the other applications that you can use because you can watch any other applications on these devices. Uh, those will count towards your uh, data usage. So again, if you have any further questions or anything like that, give us uh, a call and we'll be glad to go and answer your questions. So let's jump into that first and I'll uh, demonstrate this, this particular one is for using a Roku and, and this is the home page that you have for this uh, unit. So, so you once that unit is set up and established, um, this is what you would see when you first turn turn it on. You, you might have to hit a connect button or you might have to go and cha change your inputs, but we'll, we'll get to that in just a bit. But this is really your, your home screen. So the first thing you'll see is that there's a channel list. And, uh, and this is just a listing of the different channels that you have that you can, that are subscribed that you can watch. There's a back button on here, this arrow. This is your friend. This will take you back to the screen. Go to the guide. Now you've got a listing, and for those of you who have our IPTV systems, this probably looks a little more familiar to you, to where it's got a listing of the channels, and it has a listing of what is on and a small description of what, it, what, what that program is about. And you can continue to channel down. You can either use the down button on this remote, or you can actually hit um, the uh, fast forward key, what would normally be used for fast forward, and that'll take you down in, in groups of five. So you can see that uh, another thing that's neat with this system with the SFN is it has the icons. So, so you, can, uh, you can, can identify with what those channels are based upon the icons of them. So you go over here and to select a channel, uh, you would hit OK. And then it gives you this set of options here. You can tune to the channel. Uh, you can also go to whatever you may have been previously watching. Uh, but you also can add it to your favorites. And that's one of the things I really like about the Roku device because there's a long list of channels and your thumb might get tired going up and down through this entire list. But it, most people, what I found when I talk to most folks, they watch about 10 different channels, maybe 15. And so, you know, you can go and add those to your, to your favorites and that'll uh, save your navigation time down quite a bit on this. So there's one. Let me, uh, let me pick another one here. Let's, uh, let's go to A&E and same thing. I hit the asterisk. It brings up my options list. Add to favorites. Okay. So now my back button. It takes me back to where I started at. And let's go down to where it says favorites. Okay. Uh, in this case, there's a few channels that have been added in addition to the ones I just added just now. Um, but if I want to watch channel 10, I can go to there, tune to channel, and I'm right there to it. 
I've only got that list to go from. Um, another thing that's neat about this is you can, the Roku box, is it the up and down buttons? You can actually hit those and it'll just take you to the next channel in your list, be it the full channel list or your favorites list. So you can just use the arrow buttons to go through your list. Notice how it's jumping by higher numbers, and that's because those are the channels that are in my, my favorites list in this particular case. And if I decide now that's not my favorite anymore, I can go in here and hit the asterisk button again, and I can remove it. So you can either add a channel or remove a channel. It's done the same way by removing uh, the, the list. Uh, let's see. Let's go back. So that was the guide. That was the favorites. This channel list is just a, a shortcut. It only shows you what's on right now and in and and in in the order of the entire listing and there's quite a few channels in the listings but same thing if i hit the asterisk button i get the same what options to be able to go and choose to uh, tune to the channel or go back to a full screen previous channel um, and recordings and let's talk a little bit about recordings so if i go down here to record i can select that and that unit that channel has is selected to be recorded I could have also selected to record the entire series or only the entire series, but only new, new programs. So then if I go to back to this, I can go to recordings. So let's see if we have anything selected. Yeah, there's something. So these are recorded programs. Now there's no limit to the number of channels that you can record on SFM TV now. Uh, but there is a duration limit, uh, as, as some of my coworkers call it, it's a procrastination uh, prevention thing. It only allows you to watch them for seven days. So you got seven days to go and decide if you really wanted to watch this program or otherwise you'll need to, to record it again if possible. So just kind of watch here and it gives you the option to hit play or to delete. Those are number two. I hit this. We'll see if Freddie Dodge pops up for us. There he is. So that's how you can handle your recordings. All right, so there we've talked a little bit about, and full screen is just that. It's, it's, it shows you the full screen, but you don't get the uh, channel options from there. Just let you go to the previous, or you can, again, remove the channel. It's a little bit more limited. Okay. One other really cool feature with this program is, and it's one of the features that uh, when I ask people what they like the most about SFN, is the replay feature. So this comes into play to where you... Uh, you came in from the grocery store and a program had already started and you're like, man, I wish I could see that from the beginning. Well, the answer is you can because notice this red line right here. That's where we're at in time. It's uh, 2.18 currently and we're uh, past 2 o'clock working our way towards 2.30. So you can kind of get a perspective of where that is. That, that bar moves to the right. So, so these are the current programs right here that are in play. If I go to the left with my arrow key, if I go to the left, I can select... Um, Let's, let's, let's go up to, let's go back up to uh, uh, my favorites and we'll go uh, look at the morning news. So let's say I needed to watch the morning news and I want to go back. That's easy one for us to, to see what we got. The Today Show or Virginia Today. So this is like, comes on at 530, 5 o'clock. If I select that and go down to hit replay. Of course, I'm seeing a commercial, but we're going to wind up seeing that this is the, uh, I can fast forward that a little bit. There they are, 505 this morning, Channel 10 News. So we can go back up to 24 hours on any channel that we have in the system. So let's look at something I, I, I recently started looking at. If I go down to the, uh, and, and you have to be subscribed to the premium channels. But if you're subscribed to uh, Showtime or uh, 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 ESPN uh, Stars, which are the two premium programs that we have available with this program, if you go down to there and I hit select, now when I go to the to my guide, I essentially have a, uh, a listing of, uh, of of current movies that I can go back for the 20, previous 24 hours and watch or record any one of those. So that's quite a list of, of, of things that are showing currently that I could go and select and watch. So anyway, that's, that's a, again, that's a pretty neat feature that you can record and do these things. This is the Roku device that we're looking at. 
this particular TV is a smart TV. This, this unit has Fire Stick built into it. And Fire Stick is still, again, just another little device that plugs into the back of it, into typically your HDMI one, input number one, input. So let's go over and look and see the, the Fire Stick. And, and one thing I'll say to begin with is it maybe at home you've got a beat up old truck, it's a straight drive, it's sitting in the driveway, the windshield washer thing's over on the right side, and maybe the maybe the blinkers are look a little bit different, or maybe you maybe you have to use your foot to go and make a high beams come on and off. And then you've got a, a really nice, more modern car sitting right beside it, and it's an automatic and it's got air conditioning and it's got the controls are just a little different. But my point in using this is both devices or both cars, vehicles, will get you to the same place. They're just the way that you drive them are just a little bit different. And that's exactly the way that the Fire TV and the Roku are. They look and feel just a little bit different, have a little bit of different features to them, but they will still get your, your display on TV the same. So if we go to, uh, in this case, I'll hit the home button on this remote, and it brings me up to a smart TV that has Fire Stick built in. I have already installed this SFN TV Now app on here, but it's really easy to do. You just go to find, it brings up a keyboard like this. The Roku was done very similar. Type in S, F, N, and I really don't need to go any further because there it is. I arrow down, I hit that, and I can install this, this program. So in this case, I already have it installed, so I won't go through that. But I hit, uh, hit, it, hit this, select it, connect to it, and off I go. There I am. This navigates just a little bit differently, but not significantly in the fact that you have a circle around here. And, and while this one has an up and down, left, right, this one does too, just doesn't have buttons to indicate that. So if I were to hit the left button, it brings up a listing over here, a guide, uh, history, search, recordings. So the guide, that looks a lot like what we had over here earlier. So that gives us the option to go down same thing if I wind up hitting the and that she was not hitting the uh, 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 the down button on this I can go down up and down left right same thing as far as the uh, replay if I wind up hitting OK it gives me a list of things to choose from I can record remember how the recordings work I can tune to it or I can hit replay and that'll wind up starting that program over from the very beginning it has a a back button on it, just like the other did. Um, I have a, sh on the other side, I can hit a right button. It'll bring up a, uh, flies in from the left, a listing of all the channels to choose from. And again, up and down, select and play. One thing that differs between the, uh, I can go to a previous channel. Now that's something that happened. I can do a previous channel. That's something that's available on the Fire Stick that is not available in, in the same manner as it was on the Roku. So now I can take this over to CNN and, uh, and, and hit play. Go back, I wanna bring in the guide. Another option that is not available on the Fire Stick that is on the Roku that I really do like is it is favorites. I don't have a favorites listing. So in this case, you have uh, the, the, the large list of channels to choose from of everything that you're subscribed to. Let's get up with our locals. Now, with SFN, the channels that are labeled 5 through 99 are locally produced or local, local sources. So you still have our channel 20 local uh, CCTV. We still have our bulletin board, channel 23. We still have um, Info One on channel 19. So those are channels that that we send to the uh, send it to the SFN, and then they put it on the system for us. And then the channels that are above 100 are all their national channels. They're the same across all the different companies that they support. Info One, if you are or are not familiar with it, gives the weather forecast for uh, three markets we serve: Newcastle, Withville, and Floyd, as well as uh, uh, different community events for each of those communities, uh, power outages, things of that sort. Cancel. Okay. So I want to uh, go back. Let's go back up to the locals. So that is an introduction to the 
fire stick. I'd like to go back and uh, look at one other thing that I, I mentioned that I failed to mention on here. Let me hit home. Take me back to the inputs. Now, a Fire TV is built into this. This is a smart TV, and that's and it's built into this unit. I'm going to uh, go to the input one, which is where that Roku is going to be located. And we go back to my favorites. One of the things I didn't have an option of was, was pulling up previous channels per se, but that is something I hadn't mentioned is you do have the previous channel option on the Roku. It's just in a different location. So I have a uh, device in this case, we, we're looking at a Roku. So if I wind up going to the home button, when I go to home, it shows SFN TV now. And, and, and while I'm here, I'd, I'd like to also note that Netflix and Hulu and YouTube, some of these are, are programs that you've heard about perhaps we have selected this right here. If I hit the the star button at this location, I can move this all around. I can remove it. I can move it like that. I, I put the SFN TV now as the first thing, so it'll be easy to pull up. But I can rearrange those icons. Or I can even, uh, something I may not have, let's say I don't have Apple TV, I can delete it. I can remove that out. And if I wanted, I could remove all of these, these other icons here, except for TV now. If I wanted to go and cake it nice and simple, and that's all that I that I have to choose from, I, you can do that as well. And it's very, again, it's a very easy process to just hit the star button and remove the channel. And, it's, and that icon goes away. And that doesn't mean you can't add it back again. In fact, let's uh Let's say that you didn't have SFN installed on your, 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 you just simply go to the search. Type SFN using a keypad here. Oops, went too far. And SFN TV now is selected there. Select it. And in this case, I already have it there, but it will allow you to install that channel. Pretty simple way of uh, being able to go and add this app as well as other apps because this box will play things other than SFN. Again, I do want to reiterate that SFN TV channel usage doesn't count against your monthly uh, data usage at Citizens, but any of the other apps that you saw on there will. So you'll want to uh, be sure that other family members are aware of that. And there are ways to go and uh, lock down the, uh, the box using a pin if you so, so desire so that you can go and uh, prevent uh, excessive usage uh, in the event that, uh, uh, you know, someone, some uh, family member or someone winds up watching uh, programs other than SFN TV now. Yeah. So once you've got your, your device and you've got your SFN TV application installed, how, how many of those can I have in a home? Well, once by, by default, the system is set up to where you have five different devices that you can watch uh, without any additional charge. And if you want to go and add additional devices, there, there's a fee for that, but, but you can go up to eight uh, for, for an additional fee. So, but you can, within your home, watch up to five different things. So you can put it on your cell phone, you can put it on multiple devices throughout your home. Uh, the the uh, uh, number of options are, are greatly expanded over what most people had available previously with our, our uh, set-top box based IPTV. So one of the questions that we get here uh, on, on streaming devices is what's can you do closed captioning? And the answer to that is yes. You know, the uh, SFN TV, if you want, if you have a channel playing, like in this case it's channel 7, if I hit the asterisk button when I'm in full screen mode, uh, closed captioning off, if I go to that I can have on and there it's popped up already so you can see that the uh, closed captioning box pops up so that you, you have that available the uh, amazon fire stick has a similar setup as well that you can go and do closed captioning view that on as well that basically summarizes what uh, the vices are that we're using for this internet uh, based television the uh, it's a change, but once you get once you've worked with it and you played with it for a little bit, it it, it it's very easy to go and manipulate and, and navigate around. Once you get the basics down, regardless of what platform you're using or what device you're using to uh, to uh, to have it display, there's 
when I was prepping for this, uh, there's some setup initially, and I, I thought uh, I would do some uh, uh, screenshots and things of that sort of how, how to set up a device. And I realized that Lori and her sales team have already done a fantastic job out on the uh, citizens.coop support page under uh, residential TV. She's got uh, all these uh, frequently asked questions and things that has links and videos on how to set up and how to how these devices are, are operated. And, and then again, if you have any questions or anything from there, you can uh, give us a call. I also should mention that sometimes some of these devices in themselves have help menus and videos available uh, to go and help you learn how to navigate those devices. So again, we uh, thank you for uh, for being a customer. And if there's anything we can do uh, to uh, help uh, answer any of your questions and in, uh, in, in the future, we would certainly ask you to give us a call and we'd be glad to help. Thank you.